Day 23, Your Beautiful Miss. Hello, child. I heard your request for help the other night, and I'm here for you. You made a mistake, right? And now you're regretting your bad decision. It left you at the end of your rope, lying in a pit of despair and feeling completely hopeless. I feel your pain. I know you feel lost, confused, and don't know where to turn. I'm glad you trust me to handle the situation. Let me assure you, you've come to the right place. I can take your mess and turn it into something beautiful. Take comfort, because you're not the first person who has needed my help. Consider Tamar. She was a widow, born in a time where giving birth to a son was extremely important. In her culture and time, the firstborn son would inherit the family fortune along with any property left behind after the father passed away. If there wasn't a son in the family, sometimes a widow would be left homeless. But in Tamar's case, the oldest living brother of her husband was given the responsibility to provide and care for her. Tamar was given to her brother-in-law as a wife. Unfortunately, he suffered the same fate as her husband. While waiting to be given to the next oldest brother-in-law, she dresses like a prostitute, seduces her father-in-law, and ends up pregnant with his child. I know! Holy soap opera Batman! Nine months later, she gives birth to twins named Perez and Zara. If you read the genealogy of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, you'll see that Tamar was one of Jesus' great-great-grandmothers. I know, confusing, right? You're probably sitting there right now with your jaws wide open in a state of shock. How could this be? It's because I was able to take Tamar's messy situation and turn it into something beautiful. I can do the same for you. You did the right thing by telling me about your mistake, asking me for help, and trusting me to handle it. You might feel like you're climbing uphill against the wind, but if you continue in faith, you will be able to look back on your mess and see how I have made it into something glorious. For nothing can separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39. Now, let me roll up my sleeves and get working on your situation. I love you, God. <laughs>